guys, this is Good Deeds and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. We're hanging out. We are again the privilege to be here at the Bishop T.D. Jakes Mega Fest. So we're in Dallas, Texas. Yes, we are. We actually having an awesome, amazing time. But guess what? What we always do is bring the action to you, you, and you. So we want you to sit back and relax. Tell your friends, tell your family, and the people you say you don't like, which you know you should like in the name of Jesus, right? But we want you to sit back and relax and enjoy. We're going to bring it to you from the Bishop T.D. Jakes Mega Fest in Dallas, Texas. You know, we love you, love you, love you. Sit back and relax. So, without further ado, it's my privilege to bring to the stage a man who's no stranger to Megafest. Please welcome one of our most ardent supporters, President and CEO of Visit Dallas, Mr. Philip Jones. Philip? Well, we're back again for the third time, so something must be working for our friends at Megafest. It's, uh, it's so exciting to be here standing before you, welcoming visitors from literally around the world to the great city of Dallas as we showcase our city and also host one of the most, I think, impressive inspirational festivals in the world. So we're honored that all of you are here, and we're honored that Bishop Jakes and his team have selected Dallas once again uh, for Megafest. We're very fortunate to have strong support from the city of Dallas and from the business community uh, throughout Dallas. And what I'd like to do now is ask that all of our host committee members who've been working diligently for the last several months, please stand so we can recognize you for your hard work. You know, without their, their literally hours and hours of work putting this event together with, the, with Bishop Jakes and his team, you wouldn't be able to experience all the fun things that are about to unfold. I'd also like to introduce some very special guests that we have uh, in the audience. And I know you're baking in the sun, so I'll make it as quick as I can. First, we have uh, uh, Carol West, Senator Royce West's wife, or his better half, as we like to say. Carol, thank you for being here. We have our esteemed district attorney, Faith Evans. Faith, thank you for being here. We also have the, the president and CEO of the Dallas Regional Chamber, Dale Petrosky. Dale, thank you for being here. We have Marnie's elders from the Dallas Black Chambers. Marnie's, thank you for being here. We have the chair of Visit Dallas, my boss, Ms. Monica Alonzo. Monica, thank you for being here. And we have the president and CEO of the Asian Chamber, Gal, Gal, where are you? Please stand up, so thank you for being here. So as you can see, it takes a village to put an event like this together, and you see from the representatives that everyone works so, so well together to showcase, I think, what's so wonderful about Dallas is a city that embraces and celebrates our diversity, and I think the opportunity to host an event like this is one that we take very seriously. In closing, let me just tell you a little bit about why we love Megafest in Dallas. First of all, in 2015, we had 90,000 visitors from around the world who came to town, and they spent about $32 million in the local economy, thank you for that, and left behind about $60 million in economic impact. So that's something that we're very excited about, and Bishop, we want you back in 19, we want you back in 21, we want you back in 23. Don't you all agree? Yes, let's hear it. Okay, we'll sign those contracts next week, okay? So, but seriously, it's a wonderful, wonderful pleasure to be here with you for the third iteration of Megafest. And now it's my distinct honor to bring to the stage one of the individuals who has been such a leader in the state of Texas, in the city of Dallas, and helped us uh, outreach to bring Pepsi on as a sponsor uh, of Megafest. And that is the esteemed Senator K. Bailey Hutchison, my friend. Senator. Thank you, Philip. We are so proud to have Megafest 17 start right now. This is this is one of the premier events that we have in Dallas every other year. It's so big that it's every other year instead of every year. And we love welcoming people to see our great city and our great convention center, and especially the great Potter's House that does so much for families and faith in our community. Thank you, Bishop and Sarita Jakes. 
We love it here because this event is different from any others in the world. It combines faith, family values, the Kid Fest. I looked at the program for Kid Fest. I want to go to Kid Fest. It is going to be great. And it also is fun. It's entrepreneurial. We will learn things and we will have fun at the same time. I love the entrepreneurship that is going to be in this year's MegaFest. Learning how to get into small business, working for yourself. We always like to say that entrepreneurs like to work 20 hours a day, seven days a week in order not to work eight hours for somebody else. Well, we love that. We love that entrepreneurial spirit and we love that that is part of MegaFest this year. I want to especially thank our friends at Pepsi and Frito-Lay that are the main wonderful sponsors that clicked for us. Pepsi and Frito-Lay are also homegrown. Companies that are supporting our communities doing things that make life better for all of our citizens. So we thank you for supporting MegaFest and helping make all of these great things happen. I just want to say that one of the honorees at this year's MegaFest is President Shirtleaf. And I know that she's already had several events, but what an inspiration we have from this president that has done so much for her country and for the women and the people of the world in human rights and promoting freedom and education for her people. So we are so glad that she's in Dallas today. So I just wanna say, we are happy that you're here. We wanna have you back every other year for the rest of our lives and all time. We especially honor what Bishop Jakes is doing for our nation and our community and his great Sarita, always helping him be that helper. And now it's my pleasure to introduce the governor's representative, Jamie Havel, who is going to welcome for the governor. He was here with the bishop last night, and he is too so supportive of this great event and all that we see at Potter's House every week, day in and day out. Thank you so much. Welcome to Dallas. Thank you very much, Senator Hutchison. It is great to be an American, it's great to be a Texan, but it doesn't get any better than being in Dallas County in Dallas, Texas at MegaFest 2017. I am Janie Havel. I serve the North and Northeast Texas region for Governor Abbott in economic development and tourism. The governor regrets that he is unable to be here today, but he does send his greetings and best wishes for a spectacular event. We are thrilled to have MegaFest here again this year and welcome people from all over the world that this festival brings together to the great state of Texas. As Philip indicated, festivals like MegaFest help fuel the economic engine in our state and give visitors an opportunity to partake in our shopping, our hotels, wonderful restaurants, and many unique sites during their time here. That creates jobs, grows our small businesses, and improves the lives for the quality of life here for Texas families. We truly thank Bishop Jakes for bringing this amazing festival to Texas in 2013, and we are expecting to see great things at MegaFest in 2017. Now, I would like to introduce Mr. Casey Thomas, City Councilman for the City of Dallas, District 3. Casey serves as the Vice Chair of the Economic Development Committee. Thank you, Janie. Greetings, MegaFest, how we doing? As we say here in Texas, howdy. <laughs> my name is Casey Thomas, and I bring warm greetings from the city of Dallas from my mayor, Mike Rollins. I want to take a minute and acknowledge some of my uh, former colleagues who were on the host committee who are present today. Uh, former Council Member Tiffany Young. Tiffany, if you'll stand. Former Mayor Pro Tem and Chair of the Board of this great organization, Monica Alonzo. And 
former Deputy Mayor Pro Tem, Eric Wilson. And I want to take a minute and also acknowledge my current colleague, Councilman for District 8, Tanel Atkins, if you would please stand. It's a pleasure to be here at the opening ceremonies and kickoff for Megafest. As the third time this event has come to our city, we'll welcome you all and invite you to enjoy all that Dallas has to offer and spend plenty money. As we near the anniversary of one of the darkest days in our city's history, we are thankful for occasions like this to celebrate how far we've come in unifying our city. You will be hard pressed to find another event that unifies the faith community with the business and government community. We so appreciate Bishop Jake's vision and forward thinking to bring so many elements together under one roof. There's something for everybody here at Megafest. There's arts and robotics for kids, empowerment session for men and women, business and entrepreneurship opportunities, a comedy show, and even a film festival. There is so much to see and do. We want you to take advantage of the world's largest festival right here in our own backyard. These days will change your life. This year, Megafest will be, will be powered by PepsiCo. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> to tell you what that means, please welcome Executive Vice President, General Counsel, and Corporate Secretary of PepsiCo, Mr. Tony West. All right. Hello, Megafest. I thought you said, Bishop, this is one of the largest family and community gatherings in the world. Hello, Megafest! All right. Casey, thank you for the great introduction. Thank you for your service to the people of Dallas. Let me also recognize Senator Hutchinson, former U.S. Senator Hutchinson. Thank you so much for the great service you provided this state for so many years in the United States Senate. And of course, a, a special thanks goes to Bishop and Sarita Jakes for providing PepsiCo with this great opportunity. Bishop, thank you. Thank you. You know, um, I stand with more than 6,000 PepsiCo associates here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Many of them are here with us today, uh, volunteering in some of the booths there. And, and I have to say, uh, we are so proud, so proud to be a title sponsor for Megafest 17. And beyond, uh, beyond serving as home to our Frito-Lay headquarters, we've got more than 12,000 PepsiCo associates throughout the state of Texas working in a range of roles that help, to make, uh, help us to move, make, and, and uh, sell our broad portfolio of products. At the helm of our Frito-Lay business here in North America is Vivek Sankaran. Vivek, raise your hand. Great colleague. We've also got Patrick McLaughlin, our Chief Human Resources Officer for Frito-Lay. Patrick. And, and one of my great colleagues, Leanne Oliver, who's the Senior Vice President and Deputy General Counsel for Frito-Lay. And we've got so many more of our PepsiCo associates here. We're so glad. Uh, let me just say briefly that at PepsiCo, we believe that in order to be successful, a company's got to do three things exceedingly well. We've got to, first we've got to deliver strong performance. Second, we've got to deliver that performance in a way that's sustainable over time. And third, we've got to deliver that performance in a way that's responsive and responsible in those communities that we operate. Because we've got to do something which is called earning our social license to operate. We don't get to operate in communities by right. We've got to earn that every day. We've got to earn your trust. And that's why being a part of, uh, of Megafest 17 and events like this is so important to us. So as a title sponsor, uh, I want you to know we've got a number of activities going on uh, over the next couple of days. Uh, we will have a PepsiCo tent that's here in the park where you'll have the opportunity to engage not only with leaders from our uh, African American Employee Resource Group Mosaic, but you'll also have an opportunity to sample some of our great innovative products. I hope that you'll, you want to get cool in this heat. We've got some great products for you to go out there and, and sample. 
We'll have some great panel discussions, particularly some focusing on uh, women and girls in STEM careers, which is something we care a lot about. And you'll also have the opportunity to see some celebrities. So I just want you to know we are so proud to be here. We look forward to, to being a part of this great event over the next four days. Thank you for this uh, opportunity. And without further delay, let me uh, introduce the man of the hour. My great privilege to introduce Bishop T.D. Jakes. Welcome. Please, you may be seated. I want to welcome you and say how delighted I am. My wife and I are, are to be here and, and to host this great meeting, MegaFest. Uh, many are coming in, many have already come in, and everybody's excited about the festivities that are going to go on this week. I want you to know that we've been working diligently behind the scenes to make sure that your visit and your time here would be of paramount importance, significant, enjoyable, and life-changing. We have combined some of the most unique elements to deal with the totality of the human experience, from your spirituality to just your funny bone. We're going to cover everything right here at MegaFest. It would not be possible without the people seated behind me. Uh, the, this strange and very unique coalition of people came together and used their influence and opened doors I couldn't open, moved walls I couldn't move to help get it done. And I want you to help just celebrate the stage and the various components of people who have worked from Philip Jones to Kay Bailey Hutchinson to so many others to my PepsiCo sponsor. I'm just doing, come on, give it up, give it up. Yeah, I want you to have a Pepsi and a smile. It's good. Come on, somebody. Oh, did I say that? Anyway, <laughs> we are we are so grateful to have. Uh, you know, my mother used to say, when you see a turtle sitting on a fence post, you know he didn't get there by himself. And so I want you to understand that my host committee, I am so grateful to you once more. Let's appreciate the host committee for all that they've done. We appreciate you, all the staff, all the volunteers, all the friends, all the other churches, that are, all the other pastors here in the city and around the country that come together to make MegaFest possible. Your only problem this week is that there's going to be so much to do, you almost want to clone yourself to get in on everything that's going on. We want you to be informed of all of the events, to take time and mull over it. And it's designed not so much that we might compete with one another in terms of our appeal, but it is designed that you might craft together the unique experience that has the coalesce with your dreams, your goals, and how you want to spend your time here in Dallas. From empowerment sessions to film festivals, it's all available to you. To late night prayer to early morning jogging, it's all all available to you and don't sleep on the city of Dallas all of the museums and all of the malls and all of the fine restaurants you'll have a great time throughout the city of Dallas and I am excited to be a part of this honey I want you to come and stay with me give it up for my life on behalf of my wife and myself we are just proud to open up and officially coordinate uh, MegaFest 2017 when you shout it is open we are thrilled one final thing uh, last but certainly not least uh, we had the unique privilege of, ho of hosting uh, President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf both in our home last night and we spoke in a breakfast this morning and we are just honored to have her with us today. She's going to come and have brief remarks in a moment. She spoke this morning, she and I sat down and spoke about women's in empowerment, very uh, intellectual woman. I, I told her for the rest of my life I will be bragging about she's the first Nobel Prize winner to ever have dinner with me at my house. Amen. I, I thought so much of it, I don't know that we will even wash her plate. But we, we, when we think of how 
uh, courageously she has fought Look for her people and sure. provided leadership for her country and is so highly respected amongst the leaders of the United States. I was thrilled when I found out that she would grace the Megafest conference with her presence. And I want her to come and greet us and just bless us with a few words of wisdom. Would you stand and receive the President of Liberia, Her Excellency Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. Wow, please sit down. opportunity uh, to meet with, with Governor Greg Abbott, to meet with Mayor Mike Rawlings, uh, and to meet all the great people of Dallas. I want you to know that I bring you greetings from the people of Liberia. We have heard about the Mega Fest, our first one and so far, I can tell you, ah, it's wonderful. We're just so happy to be here. Liberia, a great friend of George W. Bush. And I'd like to say America's best African friend. Thank all of you for the opportunity to be here. Bishop, I can't tell you how the anxiety that grips us as we wait for the great event that's coming up one day from now, two days from now, the one that reverberates all over this country and reaches into our areas, into our faraway land over there, where we as great Christians, we who believe in the God that helped all of us to be where we are today, that we can stand together and that we can connect with each other, bearing in mind that Liberia has its foundation in the U.S. African American and African American have their roots in Africa. God bless you. Enjoy Megafest 2017. Listen, where are we at? Oh, y'all ain't saying it like you believe it. Say, where are we at? Y'all ain't saying it like you believe it. Where are we at? I need somebody just to shout Megafest. If you're glad to be here, say yeah. Oh, y'all didn't say it like you believe it. If you're glad to be here, say yeah. 
That's what I'm talking about. 2017 Nugger Fest is in Dallas, Texas. If you're happy and you know it, say amen. All right, how I many we got family? Y'all bring your kids out today? Have some fun? How many praying folk we got for Mega Fest this week? How many folk are praying that somebody's life is gonna get changed before the week is out? Is anybody praying in this place right now that somebody's gonna come to that convention center sad and leave glad? Somebody's gonna come broken and leave fixed? Is anybody glad about it? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Let Dallas hear you shout.